There it goes. <laughs> YouTube, Zach with Veteran Construction here. We got a chimney to do. A little wrap. It's uh it's this hard stone. As you can see we flashed it. We were gonna try this <laughs> rubber thing, but apparently quote unquote I didn't do it right according to my workers we were supposed to step flash it with this and then this would fit in all those crevices but look at here I mean it never would have worked we would have had one coming over the top of all this so what we're going to do is we're going to grind down some of this stone here where the bigger parts are we're going to figure out exactly we want where we want to step our, snap our line well we're not actually going to snap a line we're going to trace our metal but same difference we're going to grind off a little bit of this stuff so that we can have a not so fat of a lip trying to get into all this chimney stone here all right so we got our numbers for our chimney we're gonna go ahead and pull them chimney's about 36 wide we're gonna have to have some big wraparounds on this just because of the the angle it is I'm gonna go 42 on this one I use this uh, speed or this framing square to cut so what we do is we just line up the bottom flush gently put a little knee on it and then score this biatch twice she goes right. now we got to start pulling our numbers we're gonna do we're gonna do uh tim if you want to get on yeah, the side with your tape and your pencil we're gonna do we're gonna do a half inch this is for the bottom so we're gonna mark half half inch tim half inch then we got i'll yeah, we'll do about two and a half is fine i'll do just mark three, three and a quarter. That'll be all right. Three and a quarter. Then we're gonna want to go up six. So nine and a quarter. All right. Now that's gonna be our top where we're bending in the chimney. We're gonna need to probably, probably about, let's say, a good three inches to be safe. Nine and a quarter. That'll be our cut mark. Now that should give us, we're going to grind that down so our lip that goes in should be around maybe two inches or so. And then this will be the reverse. What so, did we have here? 12, 12 and a quarter. quarter? I just didn't want to be off. Yeah, it's fine. You know what, dude? Let's just mark 13 to be safe and we can cut this a little different. Let's make that 13 our cut mark just to be on the safe side. Is that you? Your side seems a little tighter than mine. I might have to adjust this brake. Alright. So we're gonna need our half inch bend, which start from that side this way. This is gonna be the part that bends down onto the roof. Get me on that half inch mark. Oh you got my yeah. nice side. I gotta read your little marks. Okay, so it's just gonna give it a baby bend. Maybe eh, kind of close to 90, but not quite. All right, 45. Ahead. Now we're gonna go the other way, which bends upwards. So we're gonna transfer these marks. Oh, this is where you mark them on the edge, Tim. Can't transfer that mark. All right. So then I'll just transfer that. So now this one's gonna go up in the air. Can that mark Tim? Good. Right there. All right. Now we're going to underbend this. We don't want it at a 90 because we want this to pressurize tight. Okay. We want to be able to force that metal in. We don't want it sticking up off the roof naturally. If we overbend a 90, it'll stick like that. We want it trying to press against the roof. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to bend our next mark here is to go back this will be the one that goes back into the chimney yep. at six inches let's just double check we're right here six six going like a shower now this one you can give a full 90. looks good all right now um we're just going to go ahead and trace this right now so that we can 
know exactly how deep our bend needs to be. I haven't figured it out yet. Kill it. Looks like roughly this will be our mark. All right, so this is going pretty good. We got this grind in there, nice and flat everywhere. The only thing is like right here, it's, I'm not sure if you can tell, it's not really that deep. We only got about a quarter inch of cover right there. That's all this grinder fit. So we had to bust out the big boy, get a concrete blade on the, on the rigid battery operated. All right guys, so what we did is we made sure that all of these contours everywhere can get covered by this aluminum so that we don't have to be just relying purely on caulk. So what we're doing now is we're measuring this furthest point here, which is about an inch and five eighths. See this one's uh, the other furthest, but that's over two inches. So what we're actually gonna do is, we're just to make sure that this is all gonna be able to go, cause we're gonna try to run this face flush with the furthest point out, which is this one. Okay, so we just have to check our short points in here, which if you run a straight edge over here, you can see that it's about an inch and a half. So our inch and five eighths mark is going to work. Um, we're not worried too much about how much is, of this is showing because it's going to look good regardless. So we're just going to go an inch and three quarter to be safe. And then hopefully that should work. All right, so we've got an inch and three quarter, which we're going to be keeping here. Right, inch and three quarter. That's going to be our bend line. We're going to go three eighths bigger than that so that we can do a reversal. This is going to reverse over, and that's going to be a that's going to be a catcher for uh, the brick. So I'm going to do that same thing over here, inch and three quarter, inch and three quarter, two and an eighth. Okay. Now this is actually our cut line. So that's our cut line. We're going to cut that now. side pulled out we need to tighten that side oh yeah let's tighten it before we try to bend this the little guy it'll pull it out mm -hmm. <laughs> James is gonna show you real quick how to tighten these mother all oh, you got the tight look it all it does is pull out dude oh okay <laughs> mm -hmm. okay this is a first key is to child safety. how your brake is sitting you can pull this down to where you see where your first point touches which is over here on this right yeah so we're touching already on the right and we're open in the center and then, and then touching back here so that means our center ones need drove down or our edges bellying. need lifted up yes either one either way just depends on so which one it depends on how tight you want this so thing to crank watch your fingers james let's go open so like end, it depends so if this tight. see like the way that this closes is pretty nice it just gets a little flick to it this handle here it's not like super hard to close so you want to keep that in mind when you decide whether you want to loosen one side or tighten the other dude it's time for a chaw bro i'm gonna start with one turn completely hey i'm gonna have to did you decide That's whether half. saturday or sunday works for you because i think i'm kind of busy tomorrow my secretary keeps scheduling stuff yeah um, so if Sunday works okay for you. Yeah, yeah. we don't have anything going on. All right, yeah. well, I'm going to call today then and see One. if I can get an early tea time on Sunday. Yeah. Now we're going to show you guys how to do that hem bend. This looks crooked again, even though we're right on both of our lines. we got an inch and three quarter. Mm, perfect. Yeah, it's good everywhere. Okay. So now you want to be real careful with this one, but then over bend it. Okay? All right. Now we're good. <laughs> so that's all we're going to want there. Now this is going to go inside that chimney. It's going to grip it. So let's go and see how this does not work. Damn, I just got a little slicing in here. Because this ain't going to work. <laughs> Probably have to pinch that you back. You gotta be negative tight. at first so that you get really fucking excited when it actually works. <laughs> if you just go up there expecting it works and it's not perfect, you're gonna be pissed. 
So it's actually gonna work. So we just need to figure out now how to terminate this end here. And then we're gonna seal this up because the, you know, the tins had to go on pretty weird there. So we're gonna seal this up, seal all that up, get this all cleaned off and everything. And then we'll secure this piece and we'll figure out the length on our side where that's gonna be and everything. Cause this is gonna have to come out a decent length to match wherever we grind this. So, you know, I got to be able to determine that end and everything. All right, so we determined how much we need. I just gave myself a little extra here. And I'm just, sorry, I keep forgetting I'm trying to film here. So we're going to cut that, this top here. Now we've got this able to bend, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this around. Oh shit. My, uh, give me your knife again. Nope. I just covered up the camera. I'm oh. So as you guys can see, my pouches didn't last long. Um, I'm just kidding. I, I took them off to go down and then I just forgot to put it back on and now I'm here working. So I just scored this a few times. Probably a little lighter than you'd think. We're going to put this back on here. We're gonna give that the old, oh shit. We're gonna give her the old sand. Wow. Nice. We should have a nice tight mark. We've been willing to show you guys before I show myself. Pretty easy. A little tighter on the bottom. So that's what that score does. You're not nice going and through. crispy. Okay. So now we're gonna try and set this here. We're gonna have a lot of, uh, them off. So. It's actually a pretty cool scribe. Let me see if I can do it with my finger. Mm. Let's see. We need this much. Well, that should be it. Get a nice. close up on that. Nice. Look at that. And I did it to whatever this length needs to be. So let's just double check. Fuck it. I'm just going to start trimming it. I cut it at an angle. Yeah. You want me to put some relief cuts in it? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying from this point up to this point because of the angle the way it sits so the thing is we don't want to get this all the way in screwed up on is I put my finger right here and what that would have meant is the cut was only for this to touch right there which is what you could kind of see my thing was doing so what we need to do is we need to plan for this to go in, in deep so this goes in a little bit deeper than this piece so right here we're probably gonna have this about right there okay which means we want our cut inside of it a little so I'm going to be putting my mark about here now. That should be okay. Okay. Yep. See how this don't want to come out? That's the point of that reverse bend. Okay. So we're just gonna hope that that works and then if it needs a little trim, that's fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have to run this next piece before we can actually determine where this piece comes in. Over here, Tim. So we're gonna have to actually determine where this piece comes in. It should be somewhere around right here. And then we'll make a, make a wrap around. So, well, we're gonna grind that down. Remember, we're gonna grind some of this yeah. down here lower, so. So 
we can give our five eighths a full send. You on that first mark? Now, usually I like to cramp, cramp this down a little bit. Hold that where it goes so it don't. Okay, we good? Now it's a little bit more of a bend. Now it's a little tighter, you see? Now we're gonna flip it around. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, I screwed that up. So we're gonna change these numbers around. So now let's go to our one inch here. This is on that double end there. Uh -oh. Stutter and FP. So we're just giving this a little, a little like that. That might even be too much. Alright. So this one's a 90. So that's going to be our side bend and this is going to end up being obviously a lot shorter but that's how the side of our stuff's going to look just like that all right so we put some marks on there probably really hard to see those pencil marks but we put some marks on here and a nice straight line we put the piece up and traced it now what we're going to do is right under this mark here we're going to grind in a little bit we're going to shave this you know we're going to shave the stone down because we're in the business of vandalism so we're gonna shave that stone down as much as we can so that we can get this top as short as possible so that it doesn't look so bulky. Rock beater. We're out of it. We'll grind the rest. Don't recommend it. Beating up the rock, rock beater. Yeah, we don't want to mess up that mortar joints or nothing too much, so we'll grind the rest. Just a little. Just a little bit. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta let her wind up. <laughs> there you go. I'm scared fucking shitless this thing's gonna pop off, dude. It ain't gonna pop off, it's just huge. <laughs> <laughs> Safety glasses, give me your safety glasses. <laughs> As if that's gonna protect my hands. <laughs> the world's pink now, dude. All right. So I need to go. Did my pencil fall? Yeah. I need to go from probably right here to here. To give it a send. Check Help me set this, Tim. Smithy deep. Dude, that's one of the scariest things I've ever done. <laughs> 20 feet away. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do anything sketchy, Tim. Yeah, it's 20 feet away. <laughs> well, I'm 20 feet away. <laughs> Coming from the guy who did that barn stupidness. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, dude, are we in there? Oh, All but right oh, yeah. here, just a hair. Oh, I see. Just so that's getting caused by this right here Go. where I said pull out. Oh. Something I never do. Yep. 
Not even on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna touch that up. You can turn that off. They don't, wait, actually keep it going in case I get fucked up, dude. That needs to be on camera. Yeah. Just keep it going. <laughs> like, yeah. okay. I die, bro. Dude. <laughs> my insurance is gonna need to know how. Bury me in that YouTube cemetery. <laughs> right. Not I'm dangerous gonna, at all. <laughs> no guard. Dude, if Twice this thing the blade flings, you're supposed to have on it. What if this thing rotates and then just sticks in my face? <laughs> God. Yeah, dude. Brutality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still get more tail than you. Yeah, <laughs> If you guys are doing this, always wear a mask and safety glasses, <laughs> and probably don't do this, but also wear gloves. Good thing Osha ain't here. Do, don't <laughs> say the name. Mm -hmm. Like Voldemort or whatever the hell from fucking Voldemort. Harry, whatever the fuck. Harry Pooper? Yeah, Harry Pooper. <laughs> I just want to be, yeah, I see I what you guys are saying. You guys got the right. Really, it's sucked tight. Yep. Thing off. Is that you? Oh. All right. Dig it in deep. Oh, hold on, no. I'm a little. I've never done it before. Oh, uh, I've never done it. <laughs> I know we can't lock that in. Half-ass weed to set. Yeah. All you really need is your corner tight. Dude, that actually looks good. It's, it it's really good kind of a screwed up situation. I mean, it's not like a square, you know, like anything square here. So we're gonna have to chop through this. The only flare you'll have is that bottom. So now we're gonna need to take a little off the bottom for the angle of the roof. Okay. This ain't good. <laughs> you know what I mean? That ain't cool. There we go. Go ahead and give this a sand. A full sand, actually. Dude, that's you, awesome. You couldn't have asked for better, bro. Seriously. That tucked in there. Yeah. So yeah. nice. The lip is just bit in it, just enough to yeah. be hidden too. I wonder you if can't... I can pull this out a little bit. Uh, <laughs> nope. I really wish I'd have snipped that. That's okay uh, though. I put a lock of lip, but I'm gonna try to pull it out. <laughs> I really should have snipped that, dude. Because this would go in a little further and look a little more square. It's it's it okay, looks though. good. It's like I'm gonna good. do that because I'm the back in you still have plenty of space to nice get this and, nice and square with the it's shingle. It's nice and square with the shingle. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll get it in a second, Tim. All right. Oh, it does look good. Um, I'm good. Give me a little. Can you give me a tap? That's it. Ow. Okay. What are you going to try and do? We need to bump it in, though, so we can get the line right up top. Good. Yeah, I just wanted to work it. It's pretty close. I'm crease it. Oh, man. I'm just gonna push real soft. That's what she said. There you go. Nice and slow, baby, to stock. So I got this new rivet gun. I think it's pretty cool. It looks wet permanently, but it's really not wet at all. So there's a cool trick I like to do. Um, when it comes to riveting like this, so like if, if I push this in, I get it all the way and I squeeze and then the second squeeze it breaks, what's going to happen is when this breaks off, this pin breaks off, I'm going to be and I'm going to scratch the metal with what's left of this pin inside of here. So it's going to break and I'm going to run around. So what I like to do is you get it all the way in, do your thing. I always lean an edge against the brick like that. So then I hold the, the pin, squeeze it. And then you see my 
thing didn't move anywhere. Look at that. No scratches, no nothing. Our bend that goes that goes into the brick. You on? Yep. Too we're, gonna much. Have to, we're gonna have to go to at least a 90 because the roof has a pitch. Yeah. So a 90 will be fine. It'll and tight. then yes, it'll tuck tight, exactly. And that's it. This is how our front's gonna look. This is gonna go up underneath our shingles. So good. Alright, so we're gonna give ourselves a nice little wrap around here, nice little bit. Just to be safe. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna mark where we're gonna be pencil bending into that thing. Alright, and then that'll be our down bend. We're gonna loosen up these shingles. Alright, that's good. Alright, so this is how far you see where I put push this metal. That's how far our little pan's gonna come back. So, you know, we're gonna pop these nails and all these, pop, get underneath all of these shingles. And then we're just going to come back through, nail them all down. We'll probably even add a little sealant under stuff like this, especially because we got a lot of dust, you know, very dusty environment right now. If any uh, of that dust gets on that seal, it can prevent it from, you know, sealing properly. So we only need these painted. We just stick them in a box. Those will dry just like that. Just so you guys know, this is a sweet little trick to get these grinder blades off. I just learned this from James. So go ahead, James, show him. You push that button on there, you just turn it by hand. Such a simple thing. I never knew that. You know? Why does it even come with the tool if it's that easy? Because you can't cut your hand with different blades. <laughs> oh. Well, you heard it here, folks. Do it, but don't cut your hand. Hey, get over on the side maybe a little. Make sure my ball... Can you see my bald spot? Yeah, totally. Really? Yes. I've been filming it the whole time. Have you been really? <laughs> No. Jesus, bro. Some people would, man. Some people would. Do you just film my bald spot? He said what? He said film that bald spot, bro. I took off my hat with confidence. Getting nervous. I'm just going for it, dude. I don't even care right now. All right. Here till four. Might as well be here till midnight, you know? Chimney or die. <laughs> Chimney or die. Rap or die. Looking like a squirrel chewed it. Then you didn't get that on camera, right? I mean, I could have. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, I could have. Just, just stop it, dude. We're good, man. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's going to look good for my house regardless. Or else you want it. <laughs> you yep. good? You all the way in? Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to we're just gonna crack this off because it did crack. I must have scored it one too many times. We actually tried to put this piece in once, so it probably loosened it a little bit. We're just gonna uh, put some sealant inside of here and uh, bend an L, go on there. And that's all she wrote. Cut these shangles. All right. All right, so we're just gonna seal this with some quad. Someone told me the other day in my video that quad isn't rated for asphalt. That is a lie. It says right on the website roofing. I think this qualifies as roofing, don't you? Don't stick them down yet, I gotta nail it. Well, yeah. Gotta bolt those nails there. And the holes from the other one. Right. 
I'll roll her out some. Right there. That should be good. It don't take much. I'm not used to the girls you did. Uh huh. There she is. <laughs> roll her that. Tim, you want to come press on this a little? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love it when you press my middle. All right, chill out. We're on camera, bro. Okay. Save it for later. Yeah, this thing's a pain, these big rivets. Bam! See what I'm saying about them little scratches? Dude, let me show you what I just did there. I see you. <laughs> Like a drone shot off the edge. Oh, now you got done it. Yeah, but there's fucking that powder back here, so the shit's not sticking. That little crevice. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just load it in there, I guess. Rumor has it that guy who did that chimney still has caulk under his fingernails. Get out of there. So you don't want to over apply. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Let's go on. I ran out of caulking. <laughs> When it comes to caulking, you always want to know. Yeah, you, you want to decide before you do it. Am I going to smear this with my finger? Or am I going to try to get a nice bead? I told these boys back at motherfucking lunch that I was going to put it down and smear it. <laughs> Come prepared and plan. Proper, proper planning creates caulk lines like fucking that, all sloppy and slimy with spit, bro. <laughs> I'm running out of spit. I need a chow. <laughs> Here we go with the brown caulk. Let's see it. Damn, who knew how smooth you can get it when you cut it yourself? You gotta cut that fucking tip just right. Do it while it's a baby before it even comes all the way out. I'm talking about the tube, you know, before any bit comes out of it. Quick movements. <laughs> Is that? Big squirt, big squirt for daddy. All right, professional video just ruined it right at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Between you and Crackhead Brad, I don't know who's got better one liner. Oh, dude, Crackhead Brad has me every day. <laughs> dude, not even comparative. He attempts his. Dude, we were talking about maybe doing like a little podcast thing with him. I literally would have just been there chilling, laughing at him. I can't even keep up when it comes to jokes, dude. He's too good. Matter of fact, almost anything funny that I come up with is because I'm thinking, trying to think in Crackhead Brad's mindset. <laughs> like, what would Crackhead Brad say? If I can pull some shit off the deep end. Like, fucking. What, nobody would touch that, dude. She's got some Walter Payton legs. Look like the type of bitch to just snatch a goat off a bridge. He just comes up with shit. Dude, she's got a little diesel on her breath. Fucking bad bitch. Wait, like, Tim's died over there. Those are Theo Vaughn's jokes. <laughs> I took those jokes right from Theo Vaughn too, man. I'm not original at all. I'm not even funny, man. Snatch a goat off It's my favorite part of the job. The details, getting it done, making it look good. Getting cock on my hands. Hands are so cocky. Fuck yeah. Ish, man, damn it, dude.
All right, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. We got plenty more tips and tricks for stuff like this. Thank you. Bye. How to cock like a pro is gonna be the fucking title of this bitch. I rubbed too much cock in my day. Oh yeah. Can you give me one tip? <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Get out of there. Dude, I got no fingers left. <laughs> uh, who wants to rub this cock for me? Fuck! Fuck, dude. God fucking damn it, man. Oh, yes. 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 Fuck! Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, sound effects. <laughs> fuck, dude. God damn it, bro. I destroyed it. Man. Dude, You're gonna need some acetone. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rag I put my cock in and jerk off. You <laughs> put it in the acetone. It came from under my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it under there so mom don't see. Oh, dude, there's nothing worse than when you find your fucking rag in the laundry basket. You know, your mom found it and just washed it. You know, <laughs> know what the fuck it was, dude? God, man, that just happened to me last week. I fucking 30, bro. Cock guns getting ready to drip. That's right, drip on that dick. So I tell my bitches, drip on that dick, mommy. So you mean you gotta make a trip to the hospital? <laughs> urgent care, the old urgent care special. <laughs> but, uh, this wasn't like this before. It's only like this since since I raw dog that stranger from Tinder during a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs>